What is up guys, it's your boy Swalam here, back again with another Dragonflight gold making video. So today we're talking about something that I would recommend you guys do right now to maximize your gold making potential. And today, tomorrow and the day afterwards is probably going to be the best time to do this exact strategy. To increase the amount of gold per hour you can make by doing various things in Dragonflight. Before I show you guys the method that I want to talk about today, or the methods in, gen in general that I want to talk about today, I do want to give a massive shout out to everyone who's picked up my dragonflight gold guide so far and if you haven't picked this one up it is currently a 170 pages long pdf document for gold making which also gives you access to an exclusive discord server where you get early access to videos and exclusive videos as well right now we even have what i think is the best dragonflight gold farm in early access in that discord server so by checking out that gold guide you also get access to that uh, gold farm which i think in terms of gold per hour is the best gold farm we've had so far so once again you get early access to that farm and several other early accesses as well and future early access and exclusive videos in that discord server which you get access to by having the gold guide that being said thank you guys so much for the support and let's get into the video and let's have a chat so what I'm going to be talking about today is the importance of reputations and I want to show you guys some tips and tricks on how to get quick reputations. So first of all, this video will be about the expedition flags for Dragonflight or Dragon Scale Expedition. And what I'm trying to say is that you have these banners located throughout the aisles. There will be some coordinates in the video description down below. And if you have some high renown on a previous character, you will unlock profession or reputation bonuses. So right here by having renown 10 with the Dragon Scale Expedition, Expedition, you will now get something called the Word of a Worthy Ally 1, which increases your future or your alt reputations by 100% up to Renown 10, and by getting all the way to the Renown 20 as well, you will now unlock the Word of a Worthy Ally number 2, which gives you a further 100% increase up to level 10, and then 100% up to level 20. Basically, what that means is that right now, since I'm level 1 myself, I get plus 200% reputation with the uh, Dragon Skill Expedition on his character up to level 10 and once I'm level 10 I get 100% until I'm level 20 and these flags right here are a great way to get some expedition reputation or renown super quickly it takes you about 15 minutes to gather all of them and if you have the renown that I have or if you have the word of a worthy ally that I have it will increase your reputation by 200% so clicking this one expedition flag right here if I just skip the cutscene this one by itself since I'm a human and you Using the Wii Dark Moon Fair event uh, thing giving me 10%, it gives me 800 reputation just by gathering one banner, and there's 20 banners located throughout the aisle which basically is going to give you 16,000 reputation or about seven and a half renown levels so seven and a half to eight renown levels if i did my math correctly right there so yeah you should be getting a lot of renown levels by doing this thing which is super super quick by the way and once again a thousand reputation and right now i'm just going to show you where on the map they're located but once again i will have the actual waypoints in the comment section or in the video description down below so you can go and copy them paste them into a macro and there you go there will be five separate macros because you want to have a separate macro for each zone that way you can do slash away in the waking shores slash away in the uh, on around planes and so on but right now you can see the location for every single banner on my map right now so all i'm doing basically is flying in a circle around the dragon isles getting myself to like a lot of renowned levels super quickly once again about seven or eight renowned levels if i did my math correctly you have sixteen thousand reputation so yeah something along those lines you can get reputation super quickly and if you have for example tailoring which this character right here is a tailoring alt of mine having dragon scale expedition is super super valuable if i go all the way to renown level 13 for example or 14 you will now get a crafter's knowledge which gives you five knowledge points for tailoring by itself and by going to 15 you will get expedition tailoring which gives you access to future or like other patterns like the masters the wilder cloth fishing cap 
cap. The chef's hat as well explores the banner of herbology and also the banner of geology. And by going to, I think it's 17, you unlock another one, which is now patterns for toys that you can sell as well. And if you go even further, up to 19, you will now unlock the pattern for the Asia Weave Expedition Pack, which is going to generate a lot of profit. If you take it one step further and go all the way to 23, you will get 50, uh, 5 more knowledge points, so in total 10 knowledge points, and a bunch of patterns that you can generate profit with. And if you're into crafting and you want to make gold by crafting, you want to unlock these recipes locked behind Renown, because that provides a barrier to entry, and if you have a barrier to entry, the profit margins will usually be higher, because it's all based on supply versus demand, and having a strong barrier to entry does limit the supply, because that means not everyone can start doing it, and they have to jump through some hoops to start doing it, and the more hoops you have to jump through, the less people will decide to jump through them, so by doing this right now, you will get a lot of renown super quickly, and the reason why I'm making this video right now once again is because the Darkman Fair event is active. I'm currently making this on Thursday, it is 2am, and this, the Darkman Fair event is going to be active for the next 3 days, so it will last today, tomorrow, and on uh, Saturday as well, and it will end 1 minute before midnight on Saturday, so you have some time to gather these dragon scale uh, banners right here, the expedition banners, before the Darkman Fair goes away, and that will give you 10% extra reputation while gathering them. But if you're watching this video after the Darkman Fair has gone away, don't worry, it's still definitely worth gathering all of these banners super quickly, especially once again if you have the Word of Your Worthy Ally, because this is where like the majority of your reputation comes from. Having that 200% increase is super massive, and like I just said, if I did my math correctly, you're getting like 7 or 8 levels in 15 minutes. Take you like no time whatsoever and then you can just start doing some side quests as well to get yourself to fifth, uh, 14 reputation or 14 renown levels to get 5 knowledge points for tailoring which is going to be super massive for something like an Asia weave alt character for example or just any sort of passive gold making character. And just to show the value of having some more actual, uh, well, knowledge points in tailoring, for example, I'm going to show you the profit margins on Asia Weave Bolts on this character right here that has not picked up all of the banners just yet and has not done any renown grinding whatsoever, and compare that to what is currently my best alt crafting for tailoring, which has picked up all the banners and has lots of renown levels, so you can see the actual profit margins. And for this one, I'm making 926 gold profit for every single Asia we have bolt craft. Now let's log on to the other character and see how much gold I'm making on that one. So this right here is my character that I've been working on the last couple of days, and so far we have grinded our Dragon Scale Expedition Renown to level 23, and I started from scratch a couple of days ago. All you have to do is just do all the Dragon Scale quests available, do all the world quests available, gather those flags that I just talked about, they're a huge boost, and then you can get a lot of Renown levels super quickly, get those tailoring knowledge points, and get a lot of gold that way as well. We also grinded Valdraken to level 14, and and let's just look at how much gold I'm making on this one compared to the other one. So my warrior made 930 gold on Asia Weave Crafting. This one is making 1474 gold. That is 500 gold more per Asia Weave Bolt, which gives me 15,000 gold more every single time that I'm crafting 30 of them, which might not sound like a lot, but like scaled up over time, that will generate a lot of profit super quickly. And not only am I getting more profit per, per Asia Weave, weave, but I also have enough ta tailoring knowledge points to actually start making chrono cloth, and I have enough to do 30 of those crafts as well, giving me 1.287 gold profit every single time I'm crafting them. And here's my current setup on this character, so we have spent a lot of knowledge points in draconic needlework, we also have some points spent in textiles and weaving, and we obviously have the shrewd stitchery for inspiration, and 10 points in tailoring mastery, and I have no idea how many knowledge points 
this will be in total. But I did start this character like just a couple of days ago. Actually, I, I started it last week, but I only did the weekly quest last week. And a couple of days ago, I told myself that I was going to start doing some renown grinding as well. And now we're here. I actually only have three out of five with the Artisans Consortium. So I haven't done any profession shuffles and I'm still missing out on 20 knowledge points from the Artisans Consortium. And I still think I have quite a few knowledge points in tailoring, considering I have not done any dragon shards of knowledge farming, I have not done any d dirt digging like the uh, bug that was happening the first week, I did not participate in that one, and we still have like a lot of knowledge points in tailoring that is helping me make a lot of profit with tailoring. Either way, that is going to be the video for today, kind of a weird one, but I think it's really important you know about this, and some people don't even know about the flags, so at least now you know about them, you have a really easy source to, to find them, there will be links down below, or there will be a waypoint description in the comment section or the the, the video description down below so you can just copy that one paste it into a macro create that macro click the macro then fly around grab the flags and get some easier renown levels and increase your profits either way that is the video bit of a weird one once again but i do hope it helps you make some gold and i hope it helps you out with your renown levels i haven't been talking about renown at all so far this expansion so i do think it's it's about time either way thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again very soon